Hey, this is James and Lucci with React MC. We're here reviewing indestructible shoes. So obviously right away you notice that the box is very destructible, not the shoes. We're gonna review these shoes. We're gonna put them through a test today. We're gonna run them over with the car. We're gonna put a nail through them and we're all gonna shoot it with an air gun just to see how indestructible these shoes are. S stay tuned so that we can see. So we're going to put on the indestructible shoes. I'm going to kick off these shoes and we're going to see how they fit. So right away, it's a little hard to put on. Not as comfortable as they say it's going to fit. We'll tie them right up. So right away I noticed there's a little bit of problem in the heel. It all, it seems like it's slipping and I haven't even started walking. So we'll tie this other one up. And then we're gonna give it a little walking test. Let's see how that goes. So I have to say, not as comfortable as they claim. Seems to be a little bit loose in the heel, a little slippage, and I can also I can kind of feel like the toe is kind of hitting that st the uh, steel toe part. So I'm not sure like on the comfortable part. So right here. So right on the back of the heel, it just seems to slip as you walk. Can you put it down? Oh, I see that. All right. Not extremely comfortable. So I think from here, we're actually going to start putting it through the indestructible test. See if that's what the, the whole hype is over these shoes. One. So now we're going to try the car test. See if it can run over to the indestructible shoe without hurting my foot. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Here I go. Oh, my God. Oh. No, actually, so I have to be honest. If a kid's truck runs over your foot, it worked. But now we're actually going to try with the real car but it's not going to be my foot just in case these indestructible shoes don't work we're going to use a water bottle so for this test i'm not volunteering my foot we're actually going to use water bottles i'm going to stuff them in there as far as they can go underneath the steel toe and we're going to see how that works out so as you can see it's all the way in it's underneath the steel toe so if this doesn't work this water bottle is going to explode. So we're going to place one at a time to test the quality of the shoe. So, can you go ahead and back up? Let's just see what happens. So, we saw that this didn't explode on the right shoe. We're going to pull forward and we're going to try it on the left. Try the left shoe. We're going to put it under there and then we're going to back up and see how it works out. Perfect. No explosion on the water bottle. So both pairs, the water bottles survived. So we decided we're going to actually try an air rifle into the stale toe part and the sole and see how this works out on these indestructible shoes. I want you to note that we still have the water bottles in there. So if it hits or penetrates, we will see water everywhere. And now we're gonna try this on the steel toe part. Nothing. Oh, it hit it. So it definitely hit it. We can see that it, it broke the mesh, but it did not penetrate the actual Steel toe. Wow, the bottle is still intact. The bottle's still intact. So we are going to, up next, we are gonna try to hit the sole and see how far it goes. Now we're gonna try the sole of the shoe. We're gonna see if this air rifle penetrates the sole. We're doing it up close and personal. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. So as we can see, 
the pellet did penetrate and it stuck inside the gel, but it did not go through all the shoe. The water bottle is still intact. So on the indestructible part, I think this might be what it says. So next up, we're actually going to take a hammer and nail and try to drive it through and see how far it gets. We're actually going to try to drive a nail through here and see how far it gets through there and how hard it is to do it. We still have the water bottle in there, as you can see. So I'm, and we're going to see how far we can get it. So it's starting to go through, but it's taking a lot of hammering to get, get it through. The water bottle seems to still be intact. It's taking a lot of work to get it through there though. So if you walk on them. So if you walk on them, you'll probably be okay if you hit something. And just so that you see it's a real nail. Let's take the water bottle out. Water bottle still good. Nothing penetrated the steel toe. It took a lot of work to get any puncture into the bottom of these. And uh, I actually gonna give you my conclusion here in just a second. So here's my conclusion on these indestructible shoes. I'd have to say if you're working in a dangerous environment and you need some good work shoes, I think these are it. I think these are the way to go. But with that said, I think comfort level, I would actually have to wear these, my wife's high heel shoes. So I have to say, that's my overview on the comfort level. But for good work shoes, I think you can't go wrong with these. Other than that, this is James and Lucci with React MC, and we'll see you next time. Keep it real.